Welcome to Blush Drink, my name is Matt, and today we are ranking salads. <laughs> that would be crazy. Chicken sandwiches! Fast food chicken sandwiches, of course. It's fried, it's fast food, it's bad for you. I'm eating it, that's how it works here. Criteria, taste, as is with everything we've ever done on Blush Drink. Presentation, I want that chicken sandwich to be purdy, not pretty. Purdy. The third thing, crispiness. Because it's a fried chicken sandwich, it should be crispy. No one wants soggy fried chicken. Ugh. Competitor number one, Zaxby's. I don't think that I've ever had a chicken sandwich from Zaxby's before. Listen, you go to Zaxby's and you get chicken fingers. You don't go to, you know, a steakhouse and order, you know, the hamburger. You get a steak. Which I have no idea what this even looks like. That's underwhelming. This bun looks like it's wrinkled up like a like a 60-year-old man or a 30-year-old smoker. This bun's been smoking a pack a day since 10th grade of high school. Minimal lettuce, which is sometimes a problem with chicken sandwiches. They go all out on lettuce and mayonnaise. And, but also, it looks like the bun's been buttered a little bit. I respect that. Tomatoes, uh, you know, they exist. Underneath the chicken sandwich, shouldn't have looked at that. Uh, just enough white stuff to congeal to where I don't think that's mayonnaise. I'm, I'll tell you what, I am happy, though, that, that it's not just chicken tenders on a bun. That makes me angry. I like it. I like the breading on it. The breading on this sandwich is the same on the chicken fingers, which is really good. I would rather have the Zaxby sauce on this sandwich than the mayonnaise. I like that they buttered up the buns. I like the breading on the chicken's got just a little bit of like, it's not spiciness at it, Zaxby's. It, it's good. This is a good chicken sandwich. I give it uh, two thumbs up, which is the rating system we don't use on Blush Ring. You are in. Uh, first place. Congratulations. Don't get cocky because you're the also last place. Contestant number two, Whataburger. I have never had a chicken sandwich from Whataburger, but I'm excited about it because Whataburger has never really let me down except for the sweet tea that time. Half the size of my head. Look at this thing. Oh, there's a pile of sauce down here. Seems appears to be some sort of multigrain bun. Not a fan of that. Whoever was in charge of saucing the chicken sandwich today was intoxicated. They also get their tomatoes from the same place as Axby's apparently. Big old piece of lettuce and then their special sauce, which I can't, uh, I don't know. Hold on. It's like a honey mustard barbecue kind of hybrid along the same lines as like a Chick-fil-A sauce. I like the size of the chicken though and it takes up a good bit of the bun here. There's no way to eat this without getting something on you though. It's not the best thing on Whataburger's menu. I like this sauce a lot, in moderation, and it's just kind of underwhelming. But also, it's in their name, is Whataburger. Like, I'm, they're making the chicken sandwich for someone out there that I guess can't eat, like, hamburger meat. I know this could be better. I like the sauce, I just maybe don't, you know, pour a whole bucket of it on there. It's in second place. Competitor number three, Chick-fil-A. I'm pretty familiar with the uh, Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. I've had quite a few of these. I like Chick-fil-A's delivery system too. Like, I don't know of any other restaurant that gives it to you in this like little pouch. Chick-fil-A's basic chicken sandwich, uh, they don't have time for lettuce and tomato. Standard bun, I do think that they butter the buns a little bit. And then just two pickles and chicken. It's a good sandwich. You really taste the butter on the bread because they don't put anything between that and the chicken. They don't believe in sauces, they don't believe in lettuce, tomato. I really like the sandwich, but after having already two chicken sandwiches today, I'm starting to realize that Chick-fil-A's chicken is a tad bit dry. The, the batter on the chicken is, is really good. I don't think it's as good as Zaxby's, but it is good. Like these, these little parts of the chicken sandwich, it's like a little bonus meal right there. When you get the standard chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A, you get like the base model of the car. It is not better than Zaxby's. I think right now, Chick-fil-A is in second place. Sandwich number four is from... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I guarantee you though, you had to pull ahead and wait on this for five minutes though. Well, the thing about the McChicken sandwich is, it's a dollar. You can let a lot of things slide when you're getting something for a dollar. Um, bun? Pretty basic McDonald's bun. They've looked the same for uh, as long as I've been alive. Lettuce shredded. Mayonnaise, uh, yes, is everywhere. And then this the chicken. Of the competitors so far, the saddest piece of chicken. Chewy. Tastes like um, I've been out drinking and the only thing open in my town is McDonald's. That should be their slogan. You're drunk and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Here's a McChicken. This meat, this chicken is dark. It's just processed chicken, right? This definitely looks like processed chicken to me. The spiciness of it is just uh, pepper. 
There's enough mayonnaise to kill a man right here. The only thing I can think to say about McDonald's, and if you're listening to McDonald's, is bring back the spicy meat chicken sandwich. When you're putting it up against these other competitors here, it just doesn't, it just doesn't hold up. So it is, it is what it is. It's, it's McDonald's. I think that should probably be the new slogan for McDonald's. Da 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 da. Yeah, it's us again. And so I think McDonald's right now is in fourth place. Competitor number five is from Burger King. I believe that we've only ever ranked one thing uh, from Burger King on Plus You Rank, and it was their biscuit, and it killed me. No, there's not gonna be anything crispy about this chicken sandwich. I mean, this is like hard, but like not crispy hard, like like it's kind of crystallized. I don't like the shape of this. I don't like the bun. This whole thing should be killed by fire. This is like a hot dog dressed up as a chicken sandwich for Halloween. There's mayonnaise underneath the sandwich. Uh, mayonnaise on top, mayonnaise on bottom, uh, sesame seeds all over the place. This chicken that's shaped like the um, Dr. Scholl's insert for your shoe. There's a gaping hole in the middle of this chicken sandwich. What is this? This doesn't happen naturally. This is like they were gonna create some kind of like jelly-filled chicken and they stopped halfway. It's like a bear's gonna hibernate in here for the winter. This is not a hot pocket, this is a failure pocket. It makes me sad that chickens died for this. Where does it rank? Uh, surprise, surprise, dead last. All right, contestant number three, five, six, Arby's. We have the chicken sandwiches. Meat craft. Is that like a, a new trade school like program? Cause I would sign up for that. <laughs> uh, more restaurant that apparently has to get rid of five gallons of mayonnaise a day. Bigger slices of tomato. Uh, very thinly sliced lettuce. Bun, not buttered. They're too busy putting fancy X marks to spot things on the buns here. This is unnecessary. There's nothing really that just stands out. It's just like the chicken, it's not the best piece of chicken up here, but it's got good flavor. Tomatoes were okay, lettuce is okay. Uh, went a little crazy there on the mayonnaise, but that seems to be the trend these days. It yeah, has something that some of the other chicken restaurants don't have, and that's crispiness. This is a good chicken sandwich. I think it's not better than the Chick-fil-A. I think Chick-fil-A is better than the Arby's. Our final competitor, competitor number seven, Arby's. Can't see anything. It's wrapped up. It's swallowed up like old baby. It's a little seven pounds, six ounce baby chicken sandwich. Big old bun. Big old chicken sandwich. Big old everything. Manny's on top. Manny's on bottom. Uh, standard pieces of tomato. Pretty standard looking lettuce. It's like bigger chunks of lettuce. Uh, bun on the bottom is burnt. Ooh, that's dry. They are more worried about making it like thinner to cover the bun, I think. Usually, a bigger piece of chicken means that it's gonna be a little bit juicier. When you spread it out and it's thinner like this, it's gonna get dry. There's nothing great about this. I would much rather have a burger from Hardee's. This is a big old hunk of disappointment, kind of. I mean, when they take like three hours to make your sandwich, you, it should be really, really good. I thought that this would be a real contender for first place, and it is most certainly not. Better than McDonald's. I don't think that it's better than Whataburger. What did we learn today, children? We learned that um, number one, Zaxby's has a chicken sandwich now. It's pretty darn good. Chick-fil-A brought its egg game today. It usually brings its egg game. It always stays the same. If it was just a little bit juicier and, and not, not quite as dry, I think maybe it would have given Zaxby's a little bit more run for its money. Arby's just tastes great and there's really nothing about it that stands out that makes me say this is a great chicken sandwich, but somehow it all works together. Whataburger uh, needs to chill out with the sauce. Hardy's was a little bit of a disappointment. McDonald's is a McDonald's. Uh, Burger King um, can leave. All right, I'm gonna finish eating this cold sandwich now because uh, even if it's ice cold, it's still better than Burger King. Oh, Jesus precious, you're just adorable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Look at you. Which is your little lettuce. Getting kind of weird up here. Oh.